Back in the country in battle, Chief Registrar of the Judiciary Gladys Soleil has submitted a written response of her charges raised by the Judicial Service Commission. Soleil now wants her submission to be availed to the public. She's also opposed to being investigated by the JSC. KTN's Aaron Ochen reports. It is a saga that has put Kenya's third arm of government squarely on the spot. After her request for extension of time before responding to JSC's accusations of stand down, the Chief Registrar of the Judiciary finally submitted her responses on the deadline of the 21-day period given to her. Today, the Judicial Service Commission was perusing through submissions and according to insiders in the closed-door meeting, the determination of the verdict to be handed to Cholet was not reached before the eight-hour meeting was adjourned. Her defense later is addressed to the chairperson of the Judicial Service Commission, Chief Justice Dr. Willie Mutunga, and copied to the Auditor General, Public Procurement and Oversight Authority, Clerk of the National Assembly and of the Senate, and to Cabinet Secretary Treasury. In it, Sholei first says she preferred the whole investigations against her to be made public due to the interest already generated. She further discredits the body investigating her, the Judicial Service Commission, saying allegation touching on a procurement ought to have been investigated by relevant authorities, in this case, Public Procurement Oversight Authority. Sholemi further says in her submission that it is highly erroneous to term as irregular spending of budgeted monies which have been passed by Parliament and the National Treasury and asked why the Office of the Auditor General was left out in the investigations against her. On the procurement of building to house judicial officers, Sholemi says it was done above board and due diligence conducted before awarding of tenders. Sholei has been accused by the Judicial Service Commission of, among other things, mismanagement of human resources that includes irregular salary allocations, irregular secondment, failure to develop human resource work plan, irregular staff promotion, among others. Earlier in the week, the Law Society of Kenya warned the judiciary that it would institute a legal process to have the JSC members removed from office if they fail to resolve the standoff in a week's time. Aaron Ocheng, KTN.